What is up everybody? Uh, super excited to be bringing you this video today. Uh, we are uh, putting down some uh, bee boxes, some hives. And uh, we uh, went ahead and cleared all this space for them. Um, obviously a little bit more than they needed, but cleared it out and uh, we're getting them all set up here. Um, I know they're not supposed to be on the ground, so uh, we, we're gonna put the uh, supports in there tomorrow. Um, I wanted to get them out here to the ranch. Uh, it's about 25 minutes from the house to get them out here to the ranch right now. So I wanted to make sure we could get them out here and get them set up, get a feel for it. Um, and then we're gonna come in here and put the supports on. So let me tell you a little bit about these bee boxes. All right, so we picked these up on Amazon. We've got eight of them, uh, eight hives. And um, these are the Langstroth hive design. Uh, and we're gonna do two deep brood boxes and then eventually we'll put the honey supers on top. Um, I might do uh, just one brood box for now. Uh, brand new uh, bee kits coming in the mail. They should get here on Friday. Uh, so let me know if you're a beekeeper, what you think uh, is the right, right approach here. Should I do start them off all with one uh, brood box or should I go two? Leave your, uh, your comment down there uh, in the comments below. So, so yeah, so we got these, these on Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description below. And uh, what I was thinking here is that we're going to have uh, two high. Uh, and then on the bottom, I've got them all set up. Uh, it's an eight frame design. So I've got eight frames there in the bottom box. And then I was gonna do uh, two feeders here in the top box. Uh, and just put some uh, simple syrup in there um, to get the bees started off right. Uh, and then I was gonna put some pollen packets in there. Uh, again, master beekeepers, if I'm doing this all wrong, please let me know in the comments below. I'm doing my best. Uh, taking as many classes as I can and, and that's kind of my understanding so uh, but yeah so we're gonna do that uh, we've got uh, eight frames in the bottom box and then I've got four frames in each of the top boxes thought about leaving these out completely um, but went ahead and left them in there so again if you have comments uh, really want to see that feedback um, so yeah so we're gonna bring we've got uh, uh, one gallon uh, these are all one gallon um, feeder boxes and we're gonna do uh, two of those in each hive and so we'll have a total of um, uh, 16 gallons of, of syrup in there uh, across all the, all the different hives um, so yeah so let me tell you a little bit more about these hives so again pick them up on Amazon uh, from a company called Hoover Hives um, they have pretty good reviews so went ahead and ordered those um, they come completely disassembled though and so we spent uh, a couple hours yesterday you can see you know it's a total of, of 16 boxes we're not even done yet um, but we've done 16 boxes so far, and uh, we've got the, uh, the eight honey supers to do still. Um, but let me talk to you about how these went together. So um, these are all kind of flanged, just like a typical um, hive design. And then we went ahead and, and glued all of the flanges and then went ahead and screwed in uh, here to all these, these different spots. So screws all along here, glue around everything um, on both sides. So you got the, the screws here uh, on both sides and then glue. So we're hoping that'll, that'll keep them together pretty well. Um, they were they were a little tricky though um, because these are all wax coated, uh, so they're all coated in beeswax. And so when we were putting these flanges together, they uh, they rub a bit. And so we had to use a, a mallet to get them all together. But um, we managed to get them together, get them screwed. They're looking pretty good. They, I mean, they look beautiful. Um, they're all covered in beeswax. They're nice and organic and natural. Um, so so far so good. Um, we like them. And then the frame same same deal, right? So these are all assembled. Um, and we went ahead and used. The foundations in here so these are the brood frames uh real simple to put these together just a little bit of glue um and a couple of nails so uh hopefully it's gonna work out okay uh, and then we've got the, the lids on a couple of these boxes um and again i know i i don't need to put them on the ground or i shouldn't put them on the ground um so we're gonna be picking them up here um probably later today actually so i'm gonna hit the hardware store and see if i can get 30 dollars two by sixes you know lumber is kind of crazy right now um but yeah we're gonna go pick up some uh some two by sixes uh, and some cinder blocks get these things mounted and then eventually I think you know I'm gonna go ahead and put some cement out here um, because you can see like the grass out here is just it's really tall and this is like you know a couple months worth of growth and so I don't want these things to be in the weeds so we'll probably eventually get some cement out here and um, get them up on blocks um, and keep them off the ground so um, again let me know if, if you think I should do something different uh, interested to see your feedback um, but yeah I'm super excited um, the bees should show up sometime around Friday evening um, depending on what time they show up, I probably will not get the bees set up on Friday. We'll probably hold them off until Saturday. And then all day Saturday, we'll just be out here uh, filling up these boxes with bees. So it'll be an adventure. Um, I'll uh, definitely make sure to record that and get that uh, posted on the channel because I think that's going to be really exciting uh, to see what's going on. Uh, you know, kind of a novice beekeeper here. I'm going to do my best. Uh, if you guys have feedback or advice, uh, I'd love to hear it. Um, 
So yeah, uh, that's that's kind of where we're at. Um, like I said, we'll uh, we'll let you know in a couple of days when we start putting the bees in there, and uh, should be a fun time. So if you're uh, enjoying the journey, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.